Welcome to East Tennessee Pinball. Today's day two of the big guns. If you haven't seen the first one, go back and watch, watch the first video. I uh, preluded this, the taking apart these optos, so I just basically unbolted this op, this uh, drop target of assembly. Uh, I'm going to pull the board off of them, and so I'll put you on the stand and you can watch. <laughs> Phone decided to reboot right there, so we get back into it here. What I was saying while I was off camera was these little C clips like to go flying, so it's good to have a couple extra on hand. And these little rubber grommets, they're fragile, uh, so you gotta be kind of careful with them. So I am going to, you know, I'll probably end up, I, I'm going to go ahead and just desolder this. I should have done it to start with because the, these are, are nasty. Oh, this one's not, yeah. This thing needs to be taken apart and cleaned. And it's a lot easier to do it if I go ahead and just desolder this and take it to the bench. Uh, but I'm, first I'm going to be concerned with fixing this board if I can you see this has had some work to it wow so the two things I'm going to try to start with are the easy fixes I'm going to re-solder these opto the boards themselves just reflow the solder on those those four those four and those four and I'm going to get a q-tip and alcohol and I'm going to clean the, the little windows on these things they get dirty and these are pretty dirty so it gives me a little bit of hope and see if uh, See if I get them, to, any of them to come alive. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I've got this over on the bench, and good news, got some seriously cold solder joints. That one on the right there, see how it's broken free? That's good. Maybe that's the whole problem. So I'm going to clean these with an alcohol and a toothbrush and reflow the solder on those header pins also, in addition to all four, well, all 12 of the uh, optos and clean the optos. As you see, see those windows are just, they're filthy. So just alcohol and a Q-tip and I'm, I'm hopeful, maybe this thing will work. I get these long Q-tips, I can get both ears from one side. Okay. Yep. Pretty nasty. Fair amount of crud coming off, so that's good. really just the window you need to get clean. I'll just dry up some of this excess so the whole board dries a little bit faster. Once I give this some time to all that alcohol to dry up, I'll stick it in the board and we'll figure out if we've done anything. Well, give that a few minutes. So I went ahead and desoldered the drop targets. I did that while this board was drying and I've got it plugged into the game. I'm, before I put it all back together and everything, I want to make sure that those are working. So I'm gonna, I just booted it up. I'll put it into test mode here. Let's see if I can see, y'all tell me. Okay, that's music. Uh, there's 
sound. The coil flags. It's, it's that one. Oh, there we are. Okay. BB play left one. Huh. Ah, shoot. I think I just went into audits, maybe. Nope, there's coil. Okay, switch levels. I get the push down. Let me fix that real quick. There. So there. Let me see that. Drop targets, top, bottom, middle, right. You know, those are right. So they're all working. So if I get a piece of paper and stick it in there, let me grab a piece of paper here real quick. Not gonna be able to see it. I can't. I don't have enough hands. <laughs> uh, well, I'll just pick one of them at a time. There. I don't know if that, which one that is. So now it's just bottom and middle. That's so that's the top one. Now you do the. Surely that's the middle one there. Bottom and top. And now I'll do the other one. I'm sticking them in the right one there. And middle and top. Okay, so that's fixed. What fixed it? I don't know. Uh, either cleaning the optos, flowing the solder on the headers, or flowing the solder on the op on the on the uh, optos themselves. Uh, they're all so easy and fast. I'm gonna do every, all three every time I pull one of these boards out because I don't want to have to do it twice. Uh, my guess would be that header. I don't know which would wire that one. I think it was that pin there. If that's like the power or the ground for the board, so it does all of them, maybe. Uh, but who knows? Uh, so I think what I'll do is I'm guessing this one probably has a similar problem. Uh, I think what I'll do, I've got this. Uh, board over here. Oh, let me show you this real quick. First, let me turn off this racket. Okay. Yeah, check out this repair. This coil is, it's been burnt and you see somebody's unwrapped uh, the, the wire to, to get to the end of it. And uh, that stud busted off. So somebody just welded. No, that's not weld. That's, that's a I thought it was a weld, but I think maybe that's... Yeah, it is. It's all black. Okay, I thought for a second it almost looked like epoxy, but I see the black all around it. It's certainly a weld. Okay, so... But anyway, I can still get it off from the bottom side here. It's... It looks really dirty, but this is actually moving. But I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I bet I will not be able to pull that out of there. Uh, I may just go ahead and get a new coil for that. And a new sleeve. I don't know. I'll talk to the owner, see what he wants to do. Uh, but for sure, I'm going to disassemble this because these things are not... That one's okay. One of these was kind of sticky. That one's kind of sticky. Not too bad. On the other side, there's one that just comes down and it's just like... Uh, it's pretty nasty in there. Like I said, this, these aren't awful bad, but it, again, I've got it out. Let's just go ahead and clean it. Uh, the other one is absolutely, like, it takes three or four seconds for it to get all the way down. So, uh, I'll put you on the stand. We'll disassemble this. Sucker. Go ahead and lay things out. At least one of them. You can see my magnet tray, the order that I took them off. Oh, and I can get them back in. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's got grease on it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is what I've done before is I actually stuck these in the ultrasonic, but not the sticker, just the bottom part that moves like prop them up in the ultrasonics so the water levels about to there 
just a, or you can also just get it to alcohol and a rag and do the same, but it's kind of a lazy way of doing it. Uh, if you can't put the, the stickers on ultrasonic, because it will strip them off. So this stuff is just a lot easier to do on the bench than in the machine. So the two or three minutes it takes to desolder it is absolutely worth worth it to me. The other thing is this. Jeez. One of these was just loose. That one? Yeah. I'm tempted to get a drift and just smack that really good to re get that let's tighten it up I think I'll do that real quick uh, hold on a second so I just took this off camera and basically took this on a vise and beat it with the drift bam 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 and that thing is nice and snug again so uh, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take those two nuts off there, take the coil off, and I'm going to put this whole assembly in the ultrasonic and clean it up. Well, maybe I'm not. The way this was done, it's not coming off. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking. Can't really get enough play to get it off. Maybe if I loosen this up. Lobble to bust that weld if I torque on it too much, and then I'll wish I'd left it alone. Yeah, I'm sure I would have left, wished I'd have left it alone. So I am not going to do that. I'm going to clean this really well with some alcohol and toothbrush and rags. What I'm going to do first thing I'm going to do is put all my parts in the magnetic tray. So I'm going to get some Windex for this. Really can't clean the inside of that the sleeve either. It's actually it's free enough. Uh, front of this doesn't really matter, but I'll just clean it a little bit since I got it out. So I'll go ahead and put these. back on here while I
I'm gonna do it one more time. Let that eat for a few minutes. And in the meantime, what I am gonna do is all these parts, they are going the ultrasonic. Get all the grease off of them. So I got all the hardware cooking in the uh, ultrasonic. So I'm gonna just clean these up here a little bit. Just spray some alcohol. You see all that gunk coming off of it. You know, so especially in that, that groove there, that's where the, there's a washer that slides up in there. So you want to get all that out of there. Just, just old grease and people spray stuff. They start getting sticky and the people spray stuff and that works for a while, but ultimately kind of makes things worse. These should ideally be dry. You've got metal sliding on plastic, so shouldn't need lubrication. I think I already did this one. Yep, this is the third one I haven't done. clean spot of rag so I can tell what I've done. Yeah. All that. Just putting my fingernail in there, it's just nasty. getting all the gunk off so they'll slide easily. I was considering placing this coil, but it works, and honestly, there's no way to get it out without uh, breaking that weld, so uh, and that's going to require replacing the whole thing, so it's working, I think, and just let it keep working. Uh, put it back together. I think it'll be fine. Uh, I'm going to go get the uh, parts out of the ultrasonic, and we'll get this thing reassembled. Well, I put together the first drop target. And some of y'all may have already noticed this. I didn't. Uh, so this little thing here, this bar that the uh, little catch sets on, that's not stock. Uh, it's supposed to be like a little nylon plate. So it's it's that is a somebody's hacked this up a little bit. So that's somebody's made that and riveted it on there. So it's twofold. It's bad. One, it's it's pretty sharp. So it's going to basically destroy that sticker on the on on the front face there. And the other thing is, it there, this thing can come down if let, if it hits hard. Well, see there, it's exactly it lands on that rivet. If it hit the ball hits it hard, it'll go all the way down. But a, a soft hit like I did just then, well, you saw me do it the first time. It went just like that. Uh, so that's not good. Uh, I think I found this part number here. I believe it's an A17045. It's about 48 bucks. That's not for the whole assembly, it's just for this main plate. That's all I need. Uh, I'm going to call Steve up and see if he's got one, because if he does, he'll have it for like 25 or 30 bucks. <laughs> uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to swap this out, because between that being bad and, you know, that it, this is just it's getting pretty, pretty junky. I, I don't think... Guy owns this game. He takes pride in it, I can tell, and uh, I don't think he's going to want this. So I am going to uh, get a new one, either from, hopefully from Steve, not from Steve, maybe Marcos or somebody else. So we'll hold off putting the rest of this back together, and uh, we'll move on to something else. Well, I've got good news and bad news. I uh, This is the the second opto board. I, 
I worked on. I uh, did the same three three things. I reflowed the solder on the headers, reflowed the solder on the optos, and I physically cleaned the optos. That got two of these working. These these all three were dead before. These two are working now, but this one is still bad. I pulled it out again, did a diode test across the various pins, and uh, one of the I believe it was between this one and this one. And I don't remember which was red and black, but it was a, a, a diode test with measurement of one. And on, on both of these, on this one, it was one and a half, which is considerably different. These were both identical. One was 1.048, one was 1.049. This was like 1.055. So I'm pretty certain this opto is bad. I don't have this particular opto in stock, so I'm going to get one of those. So between the two sets, I have one of these boards and one of these brackets. Uh, the good news, I caught, just called Steve. He's got uh, he's got to use one of these in stock, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of those, and that'll be a bargain uh, for me and the customer. So uh, that's where we're at with that. So I'm gonna put one of these together and stick it in the machine, and we'll move on to something else. Well, it didn't quite go as planned. I put this in there and the drop target, and it wasn't working. And I basically was sensitive still with the headers, and I didn't think it was the header connectors because I just soldered them. So I was like wiggling the wires, and I noticed that on this connector here, that this one was loose, and I was wiggling it back and forth to make it work, and not very hard, and it just cut into. So that's supposed to be a wire that runs through just like that black one is. So this is going to get a new four pin connector. And uh, <laughs> we'll try one more time. All right, it's, I've got it in switch test now, so it's working. There's that one. There's that one. And there's that one. So I've just got to uh, mount this back up in there, uh, solder on the, the uh, quill, and that one will be good to go. The other one's going to have to wait until I get the... Uh, bracket from Steve so uh, well, so that'll be it for I think that will stop for today uh, that's plenty I think that's gonna be a pretty long video if you like the videos please subscribe and press that like button adios